I'm going to give you a quick demo of how to use App Percy. Uh, this is the Percy documentation page. Our getting started page has a step-by-step -step guide that helps you migrate uh, your existing app and scripts with Percy. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is create an app Percy project. After that, you get a Percy token that you'd have to add to your environmental variables if you're using some CI CD creation like I am. Uh, in this case, we are using Jenkins. To do is create an app Percy project. I would do it so right here. Project name and create the project. You'll be able to get a Percy token that you'd have to add to your environmental variable if you're using some CS CD integration like I am. In this case, we are using Jenkins. And to integrate Jenkins, all you have to do is add a Percy token to your Jenkins environmental variable. And now we will run our first build. And we can see the snapshots are now being taken. Excellent. The build has completed. I've already run a particular test here, but I want to show you exactly uh, how I was able to integrate uh, Percy into my existing Appian WebDriver IO test suite. And the first thing to do is to add the JavaScript Percy SDK uh, to your package.json or any configuration you use for a WebDriver IO. After that, you can use this Percy screenshot command, which you tap to first import uh, into your test files. And then you can use it just like this uh, with the Percy uh, snapshot function, along with the name of the snapshot uh, as well. And we have uh, configured this to run uh, across four different devices with various versions of iOS as well as Android. And since we've already set Percy up on the, our my Jenkins instance to run our first build, we can go ahead and log in to the Percy dashboard, where we can see uh, that the project for testing our mobile application, and we can see the app build coming up. It's just finished, so why don't we go ahead and open it up and see the screenshot comparisons that have been run. Now, upon opening the build. Uh, you'll be able to see all the screenshots we have taken. Uh, on the, in the left panel, we can see uh, the ones with changes, which are going to be under the change section. So there's about four, and the one where rec uh, Percy recognizes there haven't been any changes. So now, when we check out the changed section, we can see the various individual screenshot comparisons, both the baseline and the current uh, screenshot. The differences are highlighted here in the diff gutter and we can switch between uh, all the different screens that were captured and the diff overlay is turned on by default we can use uh, see, view the original image simply by clicking on the overlay we can also uh, change between a side by side and overlay mode by toggling this button here uh, and of course we can change the diff highlighter overlay with this button right here as well now in this drop down uh, you'll be able to see all the devices uh, that were used to capture the screenshot this purple dot to the right indicates that diffs have been detected in certain devices. I'd also like to highlight a feature that allows you to ignore a particular part of the screen. Uh, we call this the ignore reagent feature. So I can just go ahead and click this. And uh, this is going to give me the option to ignore uh, this part of the screen. So once I finish drawing this region and save it, all uh, differences in the region will be ignored from the next build onwards. You can choose to ignore this region uh, in your working branch only or for all the branches. We also have uh, integrations with uh, your source code management software. Specifically, it can automatically trigger builds uh, when you create a pull request. On my screen, I have created a pull request uh, for this build. And once we uh, open the PR, you can see that there are functional tests as well as visual tests on this pull request. The functional test, which was the Appium script that we just ran, has passed. 
But since there are visual diffs, uh, Percy has highlighted that this visual uh, differences need review. Uh, and Percy is going to tell us that we actually have four screenshots with visual diffs that need review. Now, Percy has a particular uh, review workflow that integrates with your CI and source code uh, tools. So uh, if I want to approve a particular screenshot, I can go ahead and click on this approved screenshot button. And now it is moved to the approved section. If we review this, we actually can see that now we only have three visual changes needed to review. If I notice an issue with a particular screenshot, I can request a change request, uh, tag a team member, and uh, ask them if a change is expected. Now, uh, once we do that, Percy will send them an email so they can land on the screenshot and collaborate with you. And if you want to approve all uh, the screenshots of the build, you can just do that by clicking the Approve Build button here. When we go back to our pull requests, we'll see that all of the uh, checks, including the Percy one, has passed since we just approved the build. Uh, Percy also allows you to debug your builds uh, in case you see something expected. So you can click uh, on this debug and app automate button. And it opens up the exact session that this screenshot was captured. And you can view all of your Appium logs, network logs, uh, etc., and a video of your test run on app automate. You can also navigate back to Percy from app automate. Now, the last thing I'd like to talk about is the Percy uh, project settings page. Uh, so here you'll be able to find first your Percy token. You'll also be able to update your project name, uh, project slug, and your default base branch. Uh, your default base branch is essentially your master or main branch. Uh, we recommend automatically approving your main branch so that your baseline builds always remain updated. You can automatically approve multiple branches as well using wildcores or simply running different branch names. Percy also allows you to control and configure the sensitivity you want for your comparisons under the diff sensitivity section. Uh, the Strix mode, it is a direct pixel by pixel comparison. The recommended, which we uh, were on previously, uh, takes advantage of Percy's visual engine, which automatically handles small noisy diffs like your text shifting by a couple of pixels anti-aliasing issues or minor color changes invisible to the human eye. Finally, the relaxed version is simply a more relaxed version of the recommended settings. Uh, Percy also rec uh, supports a linear workflow where comparisons are only run against approved builds and certain branches. And you can set that up in this section. And you can also find uh, more uh, detailed guides and SDK documentation in our project uh, settings page. And going over our documentation, you'll be able to uh, find guides on how to uh, configure uh, WebDriver IO, for example, using any our example uh, repositories. Additionally, you can also uh, find our SDKs, which will give you uh, code samples of how to integrate into any existing test scripts uh, that you may have. So that's our Percy demo. Uh, thank you so much for your telling.